Welcome back to Inner Light Yoga. My name is Carolina and this is a practice specifically designed for seniors who want to improve strength of the upper back and core muscles. So let's begin on all fours or tabletop position, placing your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, spread your fingers, firmly press your hands into the floor. Take a slow breath in through the nose. On the out breath, round your back and drawing your chin to the chest. As you inhale, relax your belly, arch your back, slightly lifting your gaze. On the exhalation, rounding your back again. And we continue with this movement for another few rounds of the breath. And we call it cat and cow flow. So again, relaxing the abdominal muscles on the in-breath, belly releases down toward the floor and on the out-breath, drawing the navel up toward the spine, chin to the chest. Let's bring this pain back to a neutral position and circle your hips around your knees. If there is a lot of stiffness in the hips, you can make the circles very, very small. If there is no discomfort, try to reach a little bit further back toward the feet and forward toward your hands. And the movement is very slow and very mindful, so we are paying attention to what we feel in the body as we move. Let's go the other way around. And this rotation movement is very helpful for increasing the lubrication of the joints as well as mobility. Come back to the center. Step your left foot back and stay on the ball of the foot. Firmly press your hands into the floor and then draw the left heel toward the ground so we can feel the stretch in the calf muscle. The leg remains straight and we are lifting that left thigh away from the floor. Let's take another breath in and release other side step your right foot back stay on the ball of the foot straighten the leg lift the top of the thigh away from the floor and then draw your right heel toward the ground keep the arms straight and release walk your hands slightly forward and roll over the thighs all the way down onto the abdomen Take your hands to the outside of your mat and the hands are slightly on front of your shoulders. Forehead is resting on the ground. When you're ready, lift your hands off the floor and then pull the bottom tips of the shoulder blades a little bit closer together. So the top of your shoulders move back away from the ears. Elbows are reaching slightly back and toward the waist. Now let's lift the head and upper chest off the ground. A look toward the top of your mat, hold it here. Make sure that you are breathing in and out through the nose. Press the top of your feet firmly into the floor. Let's take another breath and release. All the way down, allow the shoulders to relax. Let's do it again. Press your feet into the floor. Lift your hands. Draw the bottom tips of the shoulder blades toward the center. Lift the chest, lift the head. Keep your neck in line with your spine. So we are not looking up. Let's keep looking toward the top of the mat. Elbows are reaching back and slightly in toward the waist. Spread your fingers. Take another breath and release completely. 
press your feet into the floor and we will now move three times with the breath. As you breathe in, lift the chest off the floor. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale. And exhale. Come up onto your hands and knees. Curl the toes under and come up into downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent. Look forward and slowly walk your feet toward your hands and you can step your feet a little bit wider apart, closer toward the edges of the mat. And you can take your hands to the thighs and slowly come all the way up to a standing position. So let's keep the feet about hip width apart. Spread your toes, creating a nice, strong and solid foundation. Now take the hands behind the back. And here, let's grab the right wrist. So we are holding right wrist with the left hand. Okay, and we are gently pulling that right wrist over to the left. So the left elbow is deeply bent. Now gently release your left ear toward the top of the shoulder. Relax your jaw, your forehead, muscles around the eyes. And now tilt your head a little bit down. Look toward the floor. Now very gently tilt your head back and you will begin to feel the stretch more through the front of the neck. Gently release the arms and bring your head back to the center. So let's take the hands back again and hold your left wrist with your right hand. We are holding left wrist with the right hand and gently pull it over to your right and drop your right ear toward the top of the shoulder. Tilt your head down slightly. And now tilt your head back a little bit. And slowly release the arms and bring your head back to the center. Once again, let's take the hands back. This time interlock the fingers. Bend your elbows slightly and begin by lengthening here through the sides of the chest. So draw the top of your shoulders up slightly and then pull the shoulders back so you can feel nice opening here across the upper chest. And now when you're ready, slowly take your hands away from the body and you don't have to fully straighten the arms unless you find it comfortable. You can go with this version, but if there's a lot of stiffness in the shoulders or in the back, keep your elbows slightly bent and keep drawing the elbows one toward another. Now, very slightly, you want to draw your chin back. So imagine that you are pressing your head back slightly and look a little bit higher. Take a long breath in through the nose and on the exhale, let go and rotate your shoulders. And let the arms relax. We will now target the hamstrings. So we will grab either a block, a book, couple of blocks. You can do it on a footstool or you can do it on a couch as long as it's not too high. So we just want to have one foot slightly elevated. That's why we need um, a little bit of height. So let's do it on the right side first. Let's step the left foot a little bit closer out toward the edge of the mat. That will help us to keep the balance and place your right heel on the block. So it's only the heel that's resting on the block. The toes are pointing slightly up toward the ceiling. Make sure that both hips are facing forward. Place your hands on the hips and draw the elbows back. So let's keep that nice length through the front of the body. Inhale through your nose and on the exhalation, slowly hinging at the hips, we are folding forward and you will start noticing a lengthening sensation through the back of your right leg. So notice that we are not trying to reach down with the head, 
but we are really holding the upper body as one solid unit. So the chest is open, the spine is long, and we are just hinging at the hips. And let's hold it here for a moment, maintaining space through the front of your neck, drawing the elbows one toward another, even gently drawing the navel in to engage the core muscles. Let's take another long breath in and release. Let's step the right foot back and we will move slightly over to the right, placing left heel on the block or whatever else you are using to bring the foot a little bit higher. Toes are pointing slightly up, hands resting on the hips, elbows pointing back and the hips are facing straight forward. Let's begin by taking a long breath in and on the exhalation, hinging at the hips, we fold forward. So again, make sure that the back is not rounding. You should not be feeling any stretch in the upper back. The stretch should be felt across the chest and through the back of the left thigh. Keep drawing the toes up. That will intensify the stretch. Let's take another breath in. And release. Step the foot down. Let's put the blocks aside. Step to the top of your mat with your feet hip width apart. Stretch your arms over your head. Bend your knees. Press your hips slightly back and hinging at your hips, fold forward. So we are drawing the chest toward the thighs, bending the knees even deeper until we can touch the floor. Step your left foot back, lower your knee and step your right knee back. Come all the way down and let's lie down on the back for our next movement. Okay, so here I want you to walk your feet slightly forward so that only your heels are resting on the floor and the toes are pointing slightly up. Draw the navel down toward the spine to engage the abdominal muscles. Inhale through the nose. And on the exhalation, draw the right knee up until it comes above the hips. So you can even use your hand so that you know where to stop the lower and upper leg are at a 90 degree angle. On the in-breath, slowly release your leg down. On the exhalation, bring it up, press it into your hand. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. One more, inhale lower. And exhale lift. Release your right leg down. Release your right hand. Let's do the other side. Inhale. On the exhalation, lift the foot of the floor and press the thigh into the hand. Inhale, lower slowly with control. And on the exhalation, knee moves all the way up into the hand. Lower down. Exhale, lift. One more. Inhale, lower and exhale lift release your left leg all the way down stretch your arms out to the side join the soles of the feet together for our final gentle stretch for the thighs and the hips close the eyes and allow your breath to be completely natural just observe your breath as it is Slowly bring your knees back to the center, turn on your side and push yourself all the way up to a seated position. Thank you very much for joining me today and I hope to see you again very soon. Namaste.